Hey everybody, it's Emily, and I'm gonna show you today how to update the firmware on your Ricoh Theta Z1. You're gonna to need to follow a few simple steps that might seem like they are a little bit hidden, and once you do that, then you're gonna be able to get that firmware updated within just a few minutes, as long as you have your Ricoh Theta Z1, well, let's see, let's use this one, your Ricoh Theta Z1, and a cable that actually will transfer data between your camera and the computer. So if you've lost the one that came with your camera, don't worry, you can use another cable as long as it will transfer that data. Okay, let's check it out. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to need to go to support.theta360.com where you're gonna be able to download the app so that you'll have it for your Mac or for your PC. Now, once you have it installed, you'll need to go up to the menu and select firmware update. From there, you're gonna get brought to this screen where you can start the firmware update. You're gonna have your, obviously your camera connected by a USB-C cable that can transfer data. Um, there's a previous camera that I just installed the firmware on and then here's the one that I'm doing right now. So it just takes a couple minutes. You can see that I've got an old version and I'm gonna be updating to the new version which is gonna fix a few bugs. Um, it's always a good idea to have the latest version of the firmware just so that everything operates smoothly, especially with a camera that can have things like white balance issues, etc. So once that gets going, it's gonna just take a few minutes. There's gonna be a little bit of a delay for you while you wait for that data to transfer to your camera. You can see that it is actually updating as it is blinking. It's doing the firmware update, so you're getting a little indicator light. And that's just gonna take a couple of minutes for that to wrap up. Uh, you'll still see that status bar uh, moving across your screen. Uh, just be patient, it's still transferring, it's still updating. And then as soon as that wraps up, uh, your screen is going to basically pop up to a firmware complete notification and that's it. All right. Thanks so much. Hope you like this. If you did, please like and subscribe and I hope it helps.